everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we're going to have a different kind of unbagging. I was contacted by Fancells and they asked me if I would like a custom done. And I said, sure. I've never had a custom. So I sent them the picture and told them, you know, I wanted it in 11 count, of course, and how big I wanted it. And I told them 60 by 90. So this is the custom that they put together. Let me flip this over or try to, here we go, try and figure out how to open it. And pull it all out of here. It's going to need its own bag. All right. So we have, oh, we got two cute puppy dogs. We have a toolkit with five needles, a thimble, and a poof ball, and a needle threader. Can you see the little puppies? There they are. Aren't they cute? So it came with a toolkit, came with a bag of thread. Yay. And the picture is, are you ready? This tiger. So it's a 60 by 90. It is an 11 count. And it's 364 by 234. And I, like I said, I've never ordered a stamped cross stitch custom before. Never ordered one that was counted either. So there you go. It's on a great big piece of paper here. It does have all the information, how to start, how to stitch, what to do in the end, that kind of thing. So let me open it up. It's got 46 colors. Lots of background here. So that's cool, the way that they can just generate that. Looks like we got 310. We've got 823s. No 939. No 3371. And it does have some 3865. And 43 other colors. <laughs> but very nicely printed. Very nice and big. I mean, this is at least as big as a canvas. Uh, I swear. It's, it's huge. Ginormous. But yeah. Very nice. Now the paper will match the canvas. But we know that. So I'm guessing. We'll check and make sure. But yeah. Very nicely printed. Very cool. This is so awesome. Never had somebody do one for me. As, and it is gridded all the way around. Hang on. Just a second. There we go. I hit it and it changed. But very nicely printed, very big, very easy to see. Yep. Let's take a look at all the colors. Oh, it made that easy. Looking. And it does say uh, 90 by 60 centimeters. Let's pull these out. We've got a few things to go over. I thought I was going to have to put them. These are the only uh, thread things that I have that I know where they're at. I know it's got Eeyore and Piglet and Winnie the Pooh on it, but hey, it'll work, and they're nice and heavy. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six skeins of 310 black. I'm sure of it. We got enough 310 black to last us a lifetime. You have a skein of this gold, which is, where is it, 435. You have a skein of 3799. Let's see if this is the same. No. Okay, 3799. Very nice. It's like a dark, it's like a black green. I know it doesn't might not show it there 
Then another green, which is like a deep forest green, which is number 500. You have, I'm trying not to pull anything off on the floor, a skein of 823. So lots of separate skeins. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 skeins of 3776, which is that dark gold color. And the rest is on thread cards, so I'm thrilled that it they're not all like this, because, yeah, I would have gone nuts. I know some custom places do that. I've seen that before. But, yeah. Okay, just unrolling, unraveling real easy. Hang on. So... Yeah, so you one looks like 154 again. That beautiful, I don't know, it's like a plum color. That's the only way I know how to explain it. Dark green, where you have a single strand, is the one of the the uh, skeins of thread. So it's like golds and browns, but not dark, dark brown. Well, there's a dark brown right over here, but not as dark as 3771. It's as dark as. 939 is and more greens for the background and you got some real bright greens and there's your 823 so yeah beautiful colors I told them between 30 and 50 colors so they came pretty close I wanted the definition there I knew that much now we're going to take this little pile we're going to set it right in the middle and then I'm going to wrap it just so, no, whoop, maybe, let's take everybody, get on the board, we're going, there we go, now we will take a look, I'll hold that thought, get the scissors out of my way, I don't need those, at this canvas, and it's pretty wide, there is a lot of number four, what is that, oh, of course it is, it's 310 black, all that background is 310 black. Oh my goodness. But yeah. Very nice. Very easy to read symbols. That's why I wanted it in 11 count. So there's the top of his head. And it's ears. I think I'll start on the tiger's face. First. Very well printed. I'm just going to fold it. And flip it. Oh, goodness gracious, everybody just cooperate today. There we go. So, yeah, there's no smears on the canvas. It is surged all the way around. Now, I have no idea how much their customs are. I just picked what I wanted. I didn't pay attention. But they have things from small to very big. So, they have like a... A thing there you can pick what size you want so yeah check that out I'm gonna turn it sideways I'm like where is my okay the width of it is sixty I'm trying sixty one a little over 61 centimeters 24 inches that way and we're just gonna wing it this way it is 45 and 45 would be 90 91 somewhere around there so it's a decent size and the actual this way up and down since I can't show it all, is 55 and a half, which is 21 and three quarters going that way. And I don't think, I might be able to, hang on. 42, 80, 84 inches, I mean, 84 centimeters or 37 inches wide so it's quite 
wide. I didn't think about the wide part. I just knew I needed big. But yeah. Just to get all the definition and everything. I suppose it could have gone shorter this way and longer the other way. I don't know. I, that, that's probably about half the reason why I've never ordered a custom because I just have no idea how big to do it. And this is going to be for me, of course. So I just went to Yahoo Images and typed in Tiger. And that's where I got this this image. So, yeah. It does have a little bit of greenery here and there. And then it's kind of like a vignette, you know, where it's, I'll call it smeared. It's supposed to be like that. Where it's fuzzy, you can't tell what things are. But yeah, I just thought he was gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. So we will see. But I wanted to show you this. And so that you know that they have custom. Now, I got cross stitch. I don't know if they have custom in diamond painting or paint by number or anything like that. Um, let me see. Did I make any notes here somewhere about custom? Okay. They do do customs in diamond painting, cross stitch, and paint by number. So check them out. That would be neat. I, except I don't do paint by number, but I've never seen a custom paint by number. You know? But it would be different. And also diamond painting. I think that would be different. But they printed it up just like you would get one of the kits that doesn't have a name on it. So, I think that's awesome. So, if I'd known that, I might order other customs, you know, in the, the distant future. But, yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Very pleased. And the, the canvas isn't real thick, you know, and terribly stiff. You know, of course, it's going to take some crunching. But, first thing I'm not going to start on is this background. Because I can only take so much boredom and then i got to really do something else. It's fine if it's outlining things, you know, because it keeps it interesting. But this, back and forth, back and forth, it, no. But I will start on this um, probably in the next video. So. Now, I ordered this. I don't know if this is the norm. See, I've never done this before. On the 22nd of November, and I got this yesterday which was the 23rd. So it took about a month for them to print this up and get this out. I don't know, you know, how much of that was shipping time or whatever. <coughs> so do check them out um, and see what they have if it's something you like. But if you're going to use it for your own, your own, not like you're going to sell it, I think it's fine to get an image wherever you want, you know, as far as that goes. But when it comes to you're going to sell that, you better think twice because copyright will get you. So, um, but I'm just, I just picked a picture. And I have other pictures that in mind that I might like to do. I found some uh, pictures that were of... Like, you know how my koi is, and it's only in one color? I found some Chinese, we'll call it decoration-ish, of, or design, I should say. And I might like to have that done in a custom. So, look for those maybe in the future, and we will see. All right. Well, thank you for joining me for this venture, and in the next video, we will be starting this. So y'all have a good rest of your day, and join me in a little while. Have a good day. Bye-bye.